so I got this email the other day and this guy says why do you why are you reviewing so many small speakers and I it was just banging around inside my head I was thinking about this uh, this quote from Sunset Boulevard where Gloria Swanson who plays uh, a former silent screen actress and some and the other actress says to her you used to be big and she says I am big it's the pictures that got small it's like it's such a great line and you know I was kind of relating that to audio the music is big it's the speakers that got small and when the speakers got small the music got smaller and then and that's true now I I love small speakers and and I and I review them because there's there's some great things that are happening in small speakers I recently did the triangle Titus easy really really exceptional I compared it to the to the CAF LS50 another terrific small speaker I've done many and the, the Klipsch RP600M bookshelf speaker the Harbeth um, P3 ESR 40th anniversary fantastic great small speakers but they always sound small now one way around making small speakers sound less small is to get really close to them so proportionally they are larger it's like when you listen from 10 feet away they sound small but if you listen from four or five feet away they, they sound bigger but ultimately they are small speakers and right now I'm working on a review of the JBL stage a 170 it's a skinny floor standing speaker um, with two five and a quarter inch woofers it doesn't sound small it's actually not very big but it sounds substantially bigger than let's say the, the triangle Titus or a Kef LS50 um, it's got more grunt it has more slam it has more that mid bass meatiness that you can't get out of a little box with a five inch woofer you can out of it with a skinny taller box with two five inch woofers but this trend towards smaller and smaller is based on the idea that people want their their system their speakers to sort of disappear more they don't want these big hunking pieces of furniture in their living room and I get it and that and I'm I'm not I'm not fighting that trend really because that's why I've reviewed so many small speakers and I will continue to but I am going to do more larger speakers I have these JBLs I'm supposed to be getting the KEF um, I guess it's reference 5000 F uh, floor standard speaker which I hope is like a 600 M or a, a Klipsch RP 600 M just more of it with more bass and more solidity and they're not expensive speakers those are about mm, $750 a pair $700 a pair for the Klipsch's the JBL stage a 170s are $500 a pair so they're not expensive speakers at all by audiophile standards right and they sound big now I am going to make a concerted effort to do more floor standing speakers to get to get the bigness back let's let's get it back I mean because after all as people have pointed out for eons that when you put a small speaker on a stand it's sort of taken as taking up as much living space as a, as a tower speaker is so why not just use that space to make better sound you know what I I can't I can't argue that that's absolutely true so there will be more tower speakers in the future here on the audiophiliac daily show so but it's this it is this um, this struggle between big speakers and small speakers and the trend definitely is that smaller speakers are winning in terms of numbers of speakers so right because the market even the audiophile market does skew towards smaller I mean the best story about this is that way back so uh, Paul Klipsch when he started his company his first speaker was the Klipsch horn big horn speaker designed to go in corners and he said after that I, I don't need to design any more speakers I made a perfect speaker smaller why is that an issue I, I thought my job was to make great sound I didn't realize the size was that much of an issue and his dealers eventually got to him and said yeah actually it is so you got to make smaller speakers and he made the heresy and he made obviously many other smaller speakers 
So, um, and that was in the 50s. So, you know, now people want small speakers that are small speakers, really, really small speakers. So, where, how do you feel about that? How c can we start moving back in the direction of bigger? We've gone in the audiophile world, I think, as small as we should get with speakers like the Harbeth and the other ones, the other ones I mentioned. Um, can we start to move a little, nudge it back towards bigger? It's the small, big battle, right? Who's going to win? Um, what do you think? Leave some comments below. My name is Steve Gutberg. This is the Audiophiliac Daily Show. So check, out, check back often and uh, check out those playlists for speaker reviews, headphone reviews, music reviews, Audiophiliac of the Day, guests that appear on the Audiophiliac Daily Show. <laughs> Just kidding around. If you like this sort of thing, check out my Patreon, which can be found at P A T R E O N dot com slash audiophiliac. Thanks for watching.